Welcome everybody. I'm excited to be able to host this exciting presentation on solar direct marketing and lead generation. Today we have with us president and founder of Overflow Works Marketing, Jeff Bush. He's got 20 years of direct marketing experience and he is going to share with you some hot lead generation and marketing tactics for solar. Jeff, welcome to our presentation. Yeah, Dave, thanks for having me this morning. Well, talk a little bit about your background so people get to know you a little bit more and understand uh, how much experience you have in the direct mail and the lead generation marketing. Yeah, so I've been doing direct mail for over 20 years now. And as this slide shows, I've mailed over a billion pieces of direct mail, you know, mainly for the, the mortgage, the car dealership and the solar industries. Um, started off selling car dealerships direct mail to bring customers in to buy cars and and then moved into the mortgage arena where we mail you know hundreds of millions of letters to get incoming calls for mortgage companies to refinance uh, homeowners and close loans and then you know seven years ago got into doing solar direct mail and lead generation and i've worked with about 40 solar companies around the country making their phones ring from homeowners that want to go solar on their house and our telemarketing driving leads and calls into, into solar companies. Well, Jeff, you've kind of uh, prided yourself over the last 20 years in your ability to uh, create really high quality lists. Talk a little bit more about how you build uh, quality, uh, quality leads for solar organizations. Yeah, so I have access to a lot of data just from doing this for so many years. We've got 45 million homeowners sitting on our computer server here in my office where we can go in and splice and dice the data and try to find people that are most likely to go solar. So this slide that we're looking at right here, yeah, we take in a data feed of every homeowner in America that pulls a permit to go solar every week. So it's updated weekly. This is a, a, a sample of a list we pulled back in March. It's one week's worth of data. Um, different homeowners that decided to go solar you can see we've got the permit date. We have the permit value of what was filled out at the county to, to install solar and get the permit to do it. We've got the, uh, the builder, the name of the company that's doing the install. It looks like this one's alphabetical order. You can see down in the middle, Solar City doing a lot of installs, obviously around the country, the biggest solar company, I believe in America right now by far. Um, so it gives the, the builder's name. We've got the, the owner's name and address some phone numbers, um, city, state, zip codes. So what we found is a lot of people, every 100 people that pull a permit to go solar, only about 85% of them go through. So we can market to those 15% that fall out for different reasons at different solar companies and, and try to generate some leads off people that have already made a decision to go solar. Um, this particular count shows how many solar permits were pulled by year and by state. So you can see California is the largest. We've got 307,418 people that have pulled a permit to go solar. And we're, we, our numbers show about 85% of those people actually move forward with the install. So there's some companies out there that sell products to people that already have solar. And, and I believe you know, we're the only company that can pull all this data together and, and pull an accurate list for everybody who's gone solar in America. Um, this is the solar counts by state for just the last 15 months. So in California, 122,000 people have pulled a permit to go solar in the last 15 months. Because we have all this data of who is going solar, we've built some models in here of, of homeowners that, are, that look just like these people that pulled a solar permit so that we can accurately target a, a list of people that are likely to go solar you know, in the next you know, 90 days. So it's a good targeted mailing list and phone list for us to direct mail and call to transfer leads to a solar company. Well, let's jump right into that, Jeff, because that's one of the things that you guys are doing on a very successful ratio is being able to convert some of these uh, potential prospects and candidates into appointments for solar organizations. Talk a little bit more about that process. Yeah, so this has been our most popular lead gen product for our solar clients where our call center uh, actually calls homeowners, phone numbers that are not on do not call list. We follow the, the TCPA, Telephone Consumer Protection Act, and make sure the phone numbers are legal to call. But we call homeowners and we actually book appointments for solar companies, in-home appointments for the solar company to drive out and sit down with the homeowner and try to you know, sell them on going solar. 
So this is the actual submission form uh, that we send over to our solar clients so that they can work the lead. So you can see it's got the customer's name, address. We qualify the lead. We've got phone number, email. You know, are you married? Are you a homeowner? You know, who's your electric company? Uh, what's your you know, average electric bill monthly? Um, how's your credit on a scale of one to 10? We try to, you know, screen out the low credit score people. I think it's typically like 660 and above credit scores. Um, and we send these leads over on a daily basis. So this has been a pretty popular program for our solar clients. Talk a little bit more about what you guys are saying during those appointment setting opportunities. Yeah, so this is our basic telemarketing script and it changes based on the data. I mean, we have data of, you know, homeowners that are installing swimming pools right now and we know that the pool pump um, is going to send their electric bill uh, way up. So we call homeowners that are installing pools that pull a permit to do a pool. And so our script changes based on the data that we're calling, but this is kind of a basic script. You know, we're calling to, to find out, you know, if, if you've ever thought about solar and lowering your electric bill, you know, is your electric bill over $150? So our telemarketing team call center goes through all these questions to, you know, turn this, this script into a booked in-home appointment for the solar company. And right now, you know, we're selling a minimum of 10 appointments for $250 a piece. So the minimum order to try something with our company is $2,500. And what we're finding is if we send over 10 in-home booked appointments, you know, our solar partners are installing, selling, anywhere between one and three out of 10, the average being two. So if you think about it, you spend $2,500 for 10 appointments. If you can get two sold install solar deals, it's $1,250 per install in marketing. Some of our better customers are closing three out of 10, and some of the newer customers that are kind of new to sales and the whole solar business are doing one out of 10. So, you know, it's anywhere from $2,500 per install to around eight hundred dollars per install, depending on the uh, you know the salespeople that are working these leads and you know pricing. A lot of things come into the closing ratio, but one out of three, you know, one to three out of ten appointments, you know, for twenty five hundred dollars. And we have some customers that started with ten appointments and now they're up to buying forty appointments a month, so ten a week. So this has been a real popular program. We're excited about it. Great. Well, because of your extensive work with some of the largest mortgage companies in the U.S., you've uh, really done some great work in building an advanced CRM and AVM system. You want to talk us through, a, talk us through it and kind of show us how it works? Yeah, when we send over a lead, we send over a PIN number uh, on every lead, and your sales agent is able to click on the PIN number and see a Google Maps picture of the house. So on the next slide, you're going to see the Google Maps picture, which shows you the roof. Um, it also tells you a lot about the homeowner, like the average credit score and income for the neighborhood, the square footage of the house, the property taxes, the, the liens against the property. You know, what's the loan amount against the property? What's the house worth? When did they do their last mortgage? So we offer this. We have mortgage clients that spend $100,000 a week doing direct mail with our company, and they all use this. CRM kind of AVM automated valuation model to find out what the house is worth and learn a lot about the homeowner. Um, this will tell them, you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Uh, this shows whether they have a swimming pool or not. And it's kind of nice to be able to see a picture of the house when you call these leads or before you go visit the house. Uh, this slide shows all the mortgage liens against the property. It breaks it down to, you know, this person has a 30 year mortgage of, uh, what is it? Uh, $274,000 and they make their mortgage payments to Chase Bank. Here's their interest rate. Um, this person's on an adjustable loan. So it tells you a lot about the mortgages um, on the property. This system also pulls the recent sales and comps that, um, you know, houses that have sold in the last six months within a mile around the prospect. For the solar industry, this slide is pretty powerful because once you do a solar install on a particular street, you can go visit the other six homes that have recently sold in the area. And we think new homeowners that just move into the home is a pretty good prospect to, to go solar if they don't already have it. So it's pretty you know, valuable report. On, on every lead you get, you, you get this information. 
Well, you guys have also been doing a great job in uh, innovating some new uh, marketing on social media and building lead generation pages, landing pages. Talk a little bit more about some of the uh, electronic marketing you're doing. Yeah, so for every 10,000 names and addresses we find of homeowners, you know, likely to go solar, you know, we can find about 6,000, 60% of those homeowners on Facebook, and we can actually target them on Facebook and push an ad, you know, right to their Facebook page. This is Rocket Mortgage, which is owned by uh, Quicken Loans, a, a client of ours that does, we do some direct mail for. So we're able to find these prospects on Facebook and push a real specific message to them right on their homepage of Facebook. Um, we also get their home computer's IP address so we can target them with um, display ads that'll pop up on different websites that they go to. This is different than retargeting, which I know a lot of people are familiar with retargeting. Once somebody visits your website, you capture their IP address or their cookie and, and you know push retargeting ads. This is different where we just push display ads directly to their home computer, depending on what website they go on. So this has been pretty successful on the digital side. What about website landing pages and email campaigns? Yeah, we can get email addresses on about 60% of our mailing list. So we can send emails, we can build videos um, that play when they click on it. Uh, these are different examples of, of mortgage companies, car dealerships, you know, solar companies that we, we built ads for. Well, Jeff, you guys have done a lot of direct mail marketing, and while direct mail uh, isn't maybe always the, the highest response rate for every industry out there, you're starting to see some great results with solar. Talk a little bit more about some of these response rates that you're seeing. Yeah, so my background 20 years is, you know, 75% of that background is just doing direct mail marketing, and I mail millions of pieces of direct mail for mortgage, solar, and car dealerships. The challenge with solar is it's gotten so saturated out there, it's a tough road to, to market only through direct mail. You know, um, our solar companies love when we do direct mail, the homeowner calls, you know, they book 80% of those phone calls that come in, turn into appointments and a high percentage of those actually turn into a sale. So we found some pretty responsive direct mail lists like homeowners with a swimming pool with the 680 and above credit score, the solar permit data, um, the pool permit data. So, the average response rate, I think, in, in direct mail for solar companies, if they mail 10,000 pieces, you know, they only get about 20 phone calls. So the average response out there is about a 0.2 response rate. And these are the direct mail campaigns we've done that have outperformed the average, you know, 0.3%, 0.8, over 1% response, and 0.6. So, you know, we're averaging about a 0.7, 70 calls on 10,000 mailers, where everybody else is at 20. So our cost per sale, you know, if you're converting 10% of your incoming calls is coming in around $1,500, which is better than most on direct mail. Well, give us a little bit of a run through on some of these marketing pieces that you've done. So this is a client of ours out in Hawaii. Uh, I believe they're in Maui. Uh, they have a couple offices out there, but this mailer was, was mailed to people who pulled a permit to go solar. So we say at the top right on the letter, congratulations on deciding to go solar you have options. So what we're doing is trying to give the homeowners some different options if, if they don't qualify for the PPA lease that some solar companies, that's all they sell. Uh, maybe they wanna get a competitive quote, maybe they wanna buy their panels and finance them, or maybe they wanna do the, the hero financing program and put it in their property taxes. And not all solar companies offer all options to homeowners. So this letter is kind of like, you know, do you want to get a competitive bid? We know you've decided to go solar. You pulled a permit to do solar install last week. So we mail this letter out and we get a huge response on it and, and kind of a competitive piece, you know, pulling business away from competitors. Well, Jeff, what's pulling better in terms of marketing on direct mail side? Is it the letters or is it more of the uh, postcards or something else? You know, good question. So there's a rule in direct mail that says letters will double the response rate of postcards. So most of our clients, we put them into letters and envelopes. Um, even though the postcard gets seen right when it shows up to the house, they don't have to open it. It also kind of looks like junk mail with the, you know, the pictures and all the color and glossy thick paper. It looks like an advertisement. So a lot of our, our clients have moved to letters and envelopes, but postcards are really cheap. And this particular one is a small postcard that mails first class for 
29 cents a piece so that it's pretty inexpensive. So, you know, at the end of the day, we do a lot of testing letters against postcards and we can show you, you know, hundreds of samples. Um, this particular slide is because we do so much business in the, in the mortgage marketing world, you know, we have tens of thousands of homeowners that have gone online and submitted a lead to refinance their home. So our thinking is because they're refinancing their mortgage, they probably plan on staying in, in the house for five, 10 years because they're gonna spend all that money to refinance their mortgage, you know, just to save $100, $200 a month on their interest rate, their payment. So what we've done is we take the mortgage internet leads and we mail this offer to go solar. Uh, you know, you inquired online a few weeks ago to lower your mortgage payment. Would you like to lower your electric bill also? So by mailing to these people that we know are interested in refinancing, a lot of them are interested in also going solar. Some of them are taking cash out of their house and they have some cash to put down on solar panels and they're making home improvements. So this has been a great list for, for direct mail and we do this little card with a live stamp on it. You know, this is a mail piece that, that Solar City does. Um, you know, I think that they mail, you know, a million pieces a month. So they're spending a few hundred thousand dollars a month on direct mail. Um, so Solar City has been really successful with their direct mail program. Just kind of showing how much you can save, you know, monthly or yearly on your solar. Um, kind of an interesting envelope with a double window, energy alert um, with the address, you know, shown through the bottom of the window. So just a, a sample mail piece that's being done on large scale. You know, this mail piece was done in kind of an IRS type of mail font. Um, and it's pretty effective. It's kind of like a notification. It's pretty edgy and aggressive. The, the county that's participating is Orange County, California. Uh, this particular client, uh, More Power and Corona, was mailing 10,000 pieces of mail and only getting 20 phone calls. And when we did this letter, we mailed 10,000 pieces and generated 100 phone calls, a 1% response. So we take the square footage of the house and the average electric bill for the neighborhood, and we estimate what their current electric bill is and show them what they can save by going solar. So it's a real powerful message, kind of an ugly mail piece, but a very high response. We also have a commercial database of uh, owner-occupied commercial buildings that we can market for commercial solar. Um, it's not a huge list, but you know, there's probably a half a million buildings in America that are owner-occupied where we have the owner's name and mailing address. So, and we know a lot about the property, you know, the square footage. We know, is it a church? You know, is it a mini mall? Is it an auto repair shop? So we have some direct mail marketing for commercial solar. Uh, that we're pretty excited about that's been getting a good response. Some of those commercial installs are $500,000, million dollar deals. Uh, we also get commercial solar permit data, so we know who's pulling a permit to install solar on their commercial building, so very large deals. You know, these are all just samples of mail pieces that we can go through quickly, uh, different mail pieces I've done through the years. Some of these are older. Um, Sunrun. You know, now that they're a huge um, solar company, a lot of my um, clients are, are doing co-op with Sunrun where they pay for part of the mailing and put their logo on the mail piece because they're, they're partners with them. So here's an example of um, a mail piece that Sunrun's doing uh, in, in pretty large quantity. You know, save the planet, keep the change. This is a small solar client that I had um, from North Carolina that, um, had a showroom where he brought a lot of people into his showroom to do seminars and again just showing the monthly savings of what solar can do for you and bringing them into his office to um, you know to sell them solar. Great. Well Jeff as we wrap up here talk to us a little bit more about what makes Overflow Works unique in the marketplace of uh, lead generation and direct marketing beyond all this wealth of information what really separates you guys apart from everybody else? Well, we've been doing this for 20 years and we know the data and the data is most crucial to a direct mail, telemarketing, email, Facebook, digital campaign. No matter what you're doing, the, the, the list of people that you market to is pretty crucial. And, and that's where we spend a lot of our time is, is building out this database, having every homeowner in America sitting here in our office and knowing a lot about them, cross-marketing them for, you know, for their mortgage. Um, we actually have mailing lists of of homeowners that have kids that are big gamers with 
big servers in their house. And we know those big Halo 3 or whatever they're playing at home, the server really, you know, raises the electric bill because they're playing, you know, video games online all day. And, and so our data is really what sets us apart. I mean, we have a full printing uh, facility. We've got a half a million dollars invested in printing presses and folders and inserters and everything's done in house start to finish from the creation of the artwork to printing the mailers to, you know, the telemarketing department that's calling, following up on the mailers. So kind of a turnkey and really what, what anybody's going to move their marketing dollars over to overflow for is, is really cost per install. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If you're spending $50,000 a month and you're doing 25 installs a month and you're spending two grand per install, our goal is to cut that in half and get it down to $1,000 per install on your solar marketing. So we're going to do a better job with your money and show you the results. So um, that's really what sets us apart. Great. Well, thank you for watching our video today. If you would like it to get more information, uh, sample counts in your area, or get uh, some more information on the lead generation strategies that Overflow Works is dominating the market on, give them a call at 800-784-5194 or visit them on the web at overflowworks.com. Thanks, everybody.